Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here and today I am bringing you a brand new Let's Play to my channel. So this is of course The Sims 4 Get to Work. Get to Work is the first expansion pack of The Sims 4 and I am so excited to finally be able to play this game. I cannot wait. As it is the first expansion pack, there is going to be so much to explore. We have three brand new careers, two brand new skills, and we also have the business side of things, which I have not played at all, and I'm super, super excited just to get right into the game and just find out how much there is to offer. And obviously, aliens are back too, and I'm just really excited for this very first expansion pack of The Sims 4. But before we get into it, I'm just going to give a quick little introduction to myself. If you are new to my channel, if you haven't watched any of my Let's Plays before, then welcome to my channel. I am the English Summer. I am called Molly, if you would like to know that. And I have had my channel for around a year now, and I'm just absolutely loving it so much. I've been playing The Sims since I was a little girl. I honestly love it. But that's enough of an introduction. Welcome if you are new. If you have been a long time subscriber, then hello to you and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. But we are just going to hop right into Create Sim. I have already created a family off screen, so I will just get those into Create a Sim. I will show off a couple of the new clothing options because obviously we got new Create a Sim items. I'm not going to show everything off because it just take up too much time. But enough talking, time to get into Creator Sim. Alrighty guys, so here we are in Creator Sim and these are the Sims that I have created for this Let's Play. So first off, we have Theo Goldman. And whilst I was creating these Sims, I did have a career and things in mind for them. So I'm not going to tell you that just now. You will obviously have to watch the Let's Play if you would like to find out what these Sims are are going to be, who they are going to be, and their stories. I do have little backstories for them, just to make it seem a bit more realistic, but this is Theo, and he is basically the hunk of the Let's Play. He is gorgeous. I love him. I love the clothing style that came with this expansion pack. It's sort of a really classic feel to all the clothes in this pack. I just really, really like them. There's also, for girls, there's kind of a really boho influence and I really love that. Personally, I am a massive fan of boho. Anything that's baggy and floaty and crop tops and anything like that, I adore. I'm just obsessed with. So this expansion pack, the fashions are very tailored to me, which I like a lot. So a little bit about Theo. He wants to be a serial romantic, which means that he is actually a lot a lot, I can never say this word. You guys know what I mean. He is outgoing, he is a genius, and he is also romantic. This is what he looks like. He's very smart. I guess I will quickly go through his, um, his clothing options. I'm not going to go through all the new ones because honestly, my Sims are wearing quite a few of the new clothes selections. So this is one of his everyday wears, his other one. I love these shoes that came and this shirt as well. This shirt fits um, the boys really, really well. It's a new shirt that came with Get to Work. And then this is from Base Game, but I just wanted another clothing option for him. So that's his everyday wear. This is his formal. Again, this jacket is from Get to Work. Fits really nicely. I don't know. I'm not a fashion person, but I think it looks good. Then we have his athletic wear. These new sneakers came with get to work or trainers if you are English like me. And new hoodie, once again, love it. I also love maroon and there's quite a lot of maroon on these new clothes. So I'm definitely giving that a thumbs up to the team for because I'm a big fan of maroon. Uh, sleepwear, just plain old. Again, new blazer, um, really like this as well. Honestly, this little detailing right here is what got me. It comes in like a bunch of different colours. You even, you can have a bright pink one if your sim wants to look amazing. You can have a bright pink one. But I don't think Theo is feeling the pink. He's not the type of guy to wear pink, I don't think. He can't pull it off, bless him. I wish he could, but he can't. So <laughs> he's not going to be wearing that pink blazer. Um, but yeah, new jacket and then swimwear. No new swimwear, but that's okay. 
And then moving on to Sky Evans. She's probably one of my favorite Sims I have ever created. I wanted to go all out on her. If you guys have ever watched American Horror Story, she kind of is a little bit Misty Day inspired. She is my hippie, my free will, lifestyle, boho chick. I honestly adore her. Her hair is new. Oh, and I forgot to mention Theo's is also new. Um, but yeah, her hair is new. There's also a bunch of different female hairs that also came with Get to Work. You have new shorter hairs, which are awesome. This one looks amazing. And then another Afro type hair, which is very, very nice. And then this hair, which is kind of Taylor Swift-esque, if you ask me the curls which we feature on another sim in our family and yeah just all the hairs that came I approve 100% so thank you EA for these I love this one one of my favorites but thank you to EA for those amazing hairstyles but I went for this big massive thing on her head I love it it's wavy it's kind of crazy it doesn't look all that well manicured and quaffed but still really suits her. For her look I just wanted to go doe-eyed, innocent, just hippie chick through and through. Honestly love her fashion sense too so this is one of her outfits. These shorts are some of my favourites in the game and also this necklace I'm a massive fan of it and then her second everyday wear this dress once again obsessed very boho I would wear this if I could pull it off but I probably wouldn't be able to pull it off and then third outfit choice the new beanie can we just take a moment to just stare at this wonderful masterpiece beanies I wear a lot and I'm a fan and cardigans also I would wear this outfit right now um, I'm pretty much wearing this outfit right now and then her fourth one really summery top I love this tank top um, I live in these in summer with just like cute little um, bralette or whatever those are called. I can't remember the name. Bandos. Cute little bando underneath. So yeah, they're her everyday wears. Her formal, once again, not too out there because she's a very chilled out sim. Um, but her hair, obsessed with. I love that hairstyle. So yeah, this is her formal wear. Her athletic wear, brand new hoodie, which, well, it's not even a hoodie. Oh, I didn't even notice the love hearts. I've only just noticed them now, but they are so cute. Um, this jumper type crop thing, really, really like it. Obsessed. Sleepwear, I've used the same hoodie in a couple of these, yeah. Um, and then just an oversized shirt and her amazing hair once again playing a part. This is her party wear, this is one of her party wears and then this is her second party wear. I just went for the same dress just because I really am a massive fan of it and then swimwear just kind of same old same old no new swimwears for get to work. She is well, she wants to be a painter extraordinaire, which means that she can be a muse, or she is a muser. Uh, she is creative, she is good, and she is cheerful. So she's kind of like the free spirit of our household. And then, as you guys probably know, aliens are back in The Sims 4 Get to Work, and I am so excited to have them back, finally. So I decided that instead of trying to get a alien into our family at some point during the let's play why don't we just start out with an alien so that is what I've done I have added in a male alien called Zyth I am probably gonna mess up his name 100 times in this let's play but I just went on to like this website that suggested alien type names so he is called Zyth Fress and this is what he looks like he is so cool I love him don't you think he's attractive for an alien? Is that weird? Because if that is weird, then yes, I will fully accept that it is weird. But I think he's got quite a nice face, even if he is an alien. And he has these super cool eyes. There are so many different options for alien eyes, which are, you can have like these swirl ones. Oh, they're contacts. Ignore those. They are terrifying. And then you have like just really cool eyes but I think we're gonna go for these bluey type ones there's also so many new makeup options for aliens like you can have 
so much makeup. I'm going to go for like this tortoise shell type of thing right here, but there are some amazing makeups. Like, I am so impressed. You could make a really strong looking alien who would just be on point. So, yeah aliens they only come with like two outfit choices um so i went for the white one i think the white one suits his skin tone the most so he is pretty much wearing oh he's wearing a black for his formal you know black suit and tie but uh he's wearing white for pretty much everything else uh, this one is different to his actually everyday wear. But yeah, I just decided to go for white as there are only two options anyway. He wants nerd brain, which means he's a quick learner. He is genius. He is insane. And he is a geek. So that is Zyth. He's going to be our alien of the Let's Play. And I'm so excited to just explore aliens even more in depth. Send him back to his home planet which will be happening at some point during this let's play. And then moving on, we have Mika Goldman. If you didn't notice already, she has the same last name as Theo. That is because they are brother and sister. So these two are actually twins. And let me just tell you, they are some of the most determined Sims I think I will ever have. So Mika wants to be fabulously wealthy, which means she is business savvy. She has the perfectionist trait. She is ambitious and she is also very self-assured. The outfit that she is currently rocking is pretty much all from Get To Work. This blazer is new these shorts are new and the shoes are also new and the hair of course probably my favorite female hair that has been added into this game so this is Mika she is stunning like absolutely beautiful and I can imagine her and Theo just wanting to rule the world basically so this is one of her outfits and then she has this one very colorful shirt all new once again and then also this little number that we have right here look at the back on this play suit or jumpsuit it's, no it's a play suit it's short uh this play suit is new with get to work and i am obsessed with it i absolutely love it it comes in a range of different colors but i decided to go for the blue because i thought it really suited her so yeah she is rocking this she looks so amazing in it so yeah this is a new number and i love it i pretty much used it for most of her outfits um which i'm probably gonna regret at some point in this let's play but for right now i am loving it there's also been a load of new jewelry added in um sky down here is wearing a load of it because she always wears necklaces and rings and stuff like that and also like bracelets and stuff mika has gone for something a little bit more subtle but still there's a lot of jewellery that has been added. Once again, formal wear, I've gone back to the plate suit, but just in white this time. Athletic wear, boring, just base game really. And then sleepwear, just once again, base game. Didn't go for anything crazy there. And the jumpsuit, play suit, I'm going to mix these up. The play suit makes another return in red this time for her party wear and she looks incredible. She rocks that play suit so much. And then we also have her swimwear which is just base game standard. I'm also going to show you a couple of the men's hair that came with this because I know you guys love seeing new hairs. So we have this one. Um... This actually came with the updated patch, but I really like this hair. Um, I was really blown away when I first saw this. This hair, which I love, kind of doesn't suit him, but really like it anyway. A longer hair, which I also love. I love these bits of hair right here. He looks like a hunk with long hair. Maybe we'll have him grow out his hair a little bit. The man bun makes a return in The Sims 4. You can't you can't miss a good man bun and then this hair was this his original no i don't think so um this one which is really short and is apparently coming through his forehead a little bit which is a little bit odd and then this was his original hair which is what i'm gonna have on him for the let's play another longer hair which i really like so yeah they're all the male hairs but we're gonna stick to quite a short 
quaffed little one for him. So yeah, that is our household for Get to Work. I hope you guys really like The Sims. And to give you guys a little bit of a backstory, obviously Theo and Mika are brother and sister, and Mika is actually good friends with Sky, which you probably wouldn't have thought because Sky is a little bit out there, she's a little bit crazy and a hippie and Mika is very straight up and know what she wants to do in life. She wants to go there and do it. I'm not going to give away her career, I almost did, but she just wants to get into her career and focus on it. She's not so much of a free spirit. And then Zyth, I don't know. I didn't really have a backstory for Zyth. I kind of just thought he came to Earth and he met these guys, like, I don't know, maybe in university. Um, and yeah, he's just decided to move in with them. So he's just roommates, but these guys are all friends. So I'm really excited to explore their lives a little bit more. So we are about to move them into the world. So I have moved the household into Oasis Springs. I already built this house. This house will be on the gallery if you guys want to download it. I don't think you will because there's barely anything in it. It is very much a starter home and there is barely anything in it. It has all the things that we really need. It has the necessities to say, to say the least. Um, it's not a great house but I just decided that all we really needed was the bare necessities when we first started out. So this is their house in all its glory, if you could even call it glory. This is their house. I, yeah, there's not much to say about it. It's small, it's a starter home, it's just what we need really. So they are all moved in and we're just gonna try and uh, get them chatting to each other a bit. What I need to do is actually buy her an easel because now is the time that you guys get to find out what I want them to do in their lives. So little Miss Sky over here, I want our hippie chick to be the business owner, which I bet some of you thought it was going to be Mika, but Mika actually isn't going to be the business owner. It is going to be Sky, and I'm so excited for her to finally get her own business going. I feel like working on her own terms is what she would love to do. So Sky is going to be painting, she's going to be baking, she's going to be taking photographs all to sell in her store and I don't think we're gonna have her store set up for a while. I have tried to save some money um, so that we could actually purchase a store maybe quite soon in this let's play. I don't think it's gonna happen in this first part but she will have a store soon enough so we just need to get working on her skills a little bit so I think we should start her baking right now. Uh, we can bake breadsticks, premix brownies or sugar cookies. Let's go make some sugar cookies. Off you go Sky. you go and do that. Theo, uh, I bet you guys can't even begin to imagine what you want Theo, what I want Theo to do. Well, I want him to be a doctor. That is what I want him to do. So I think we are just going to, oh, Sky acquired the break baking skill. Sky's newly acquired baking skill will allow her to combine butter, sugar and any and other ingredients into tasty bites that please taste buds and expand waistlines. That is exactly what I want to hear. Okay, so what I want you to do, we can now buy a retail store, but like I said, we might not do that for a little bit, but we are going to have Theo over here try and find a job. I actually need to move their mailbox over because it's no way near their house. Okay, so he can be a detective. Do you want to be the type of cop who's never really off duty? If so, this job's for you and we've got the rewards to support that unhealthy lifestyle. Unlock outfits like your police uniform to wear as pajamas. <laughs> That's awesome. Teach your teen a valuable lesson for that C plus by dressing them in prisoner coveralls and transforming their bedroom into a virtual jail cell, complete with prison bar walls and decorative security camera. As a bonus, you can keep an eye on them with your very own one-way mirror. So they are now hiring cadets for 20 simoleons an hour. They work pretty long days, but we do not want him to be a detective. We want him to be a doctor. 
Who doesn't want to be held responsible for another Sim's health and well-being? A doctor who can advance in the medical ranks will find themselves rewarded with objects like a standing surgical light and a full-size skeleton to brighten up the home nursery. Nice! That's what I like to see. Kids growing up around skeletons. To make the deal extra sweet, you'll be able to unlock your very own hospital scrubs and patient gowns so you can play doctor at home. So he works from 7am to 3pm and he gets 18 simoleons an hour. A little less than the detective but it'll all be worth it in the end. And obviously the scientist career is a brand new career as well. Calling all brains, are you the nerdy type who aspires to one day wear tin foil on your head and decorate your radio studio with huge bubbly tanks? A scientist who proves they've got the grey matter to change the world as we know it can unlock new outfits like the UFO hunter or objects like a swanky chemistry lab for concocting new inventions and serums. And that is the best paying career at this point. It's 24 um, simoleons per hour and they work from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. Okay, so we want to choose the doctor career for Theo. So here we go, he is now a medical intern. And what day does he start work? Um, okay, I think he starts work tomorrow at 7 p.m. Um, to get past his first level, I think, we have to attend an active work day at the Doctor Career venue. The way this Let's Play is gonna work, I think I'm gonna alternate between who I watch at work and stuff like that obviously because we do have active careers now so I will have to alternate evenly between them but I think I'm also gonna put their lifespan onto long so that they are young adults for a little bit longer because they are gonna be working a lot of the time and I want to explore all of their jobs so I am thinking of putting their lifespan to long if you guys think that's a good idea then just let me know in the comments this is your let's play as much as it is mine and I want you guys to enjoy it as much as I am going to enjoy it so yeah that's definitely up to you but I think that's the best for getting what I want out of this let's play. Sky has discovered that Zyth Frest is an alien. The disguise seemed perfect except for that one rather well alien detail. <laughs> I wonder what gave it away but the cool thing about aliens is they can actually disguise themselves. So we're going to have Zyth have himself in his disguise for quite a while. This is currently his disguise, but we can change his disguise so we can alter it, which I will be doing probably in the next part. We'll alter his disguise. I do want Zyth to actually go into the scientist career, which is going to be a lot of fun, especially as an alien. I feel like he's going to get a lot out of that career. And then Mika over here, I think I'm going to have her be a detective. Whether she's going to be a good cop or a bad cop, I don't know yet, but I'm excited to see where this let's play is going to go. She's already started on some of her skills. She's baked these kind of plain looking, I was going to say delicious looking sugar cookies, but they kind of look really plain at the minute. But that is it for this part. This was just a little bit of an introduction into Get to Work. Getting to know the careers a little bit. In the next part, we will obviously attend our first work day. I will do up the house a little bit. I need to add in a dining table and maybe a TV. But thank you all so much for watching. If you like this part, please do give it a big thumbs up. I am so excited to continue with this Let's Play and to discover all the careers and the extra items and things like that. I think I might actually do up the house on screen because then I will be able to show off a couple of the new items that came with Get to Work for houses and skills and things like that so I'll probably do that in the next part too but thank you all so much for watching I love you all I hope you are all looking forward to this let's play I know I am I'm gonna enjoy it so much and I just cannot wait to just dive in even deeper and see where this family can take us but thank you all so much for watching and I will speak to you all in my next video bye guys